I'm back reviewing another LEGO Star Wars buildable figure set. This time is set number 75533 Boba Fett. This set contains 144 pieces and is ages 8 to 14. It also retails for $30 in the US and it was released in December of last year alongside with Darth Vader. So now let's move Boba off to the side to take a better look at the box. And I have to say this is probably my favorite guest box design or art out of any other Star Wars set because it's freaking awesome. You got Boba Fett. Yeah, well, in the Sarlacc pit for episode six of him flying out and shooting at it, it it's, just, it's just too cool. I love that, it's amazing. I don't know what else they could have done instead of him just standing around something else. Way better than Jango Fett's box design. But um, going on to, you know, the other than box art, we have the set information, which I already went over. Uh, we have the Billable Figures uh, logo on the bottom, Disney, um, nothing really much on the left side. On the right, we got Boba. Every uh, other uh, CCVS or Star Wars set have like the character on their side like that, like kind of posing. So that's pretty cool. And on the top, we have the actual size of Boba Fett's. I kept saying his name sometimes wrong, but I apologize. If I say like Boba or, or something else, I apologize, but Boba Fett's, oh my God. Boba Fett's helmet, there we go. And on the back, we have the play features and this box does not want to stand up. We have the play features and the height for the figure, which is 26 centimeters or 10.2 inches tall. So yeah, I'll show that in a moment. Now let's take a look at Boba Fett himself. Okay, so here he is. Boba Fett, the infamous and most quietest bounty hunter in all of Star Wars, pretty much. I mean, he talks here and there, but he's very quiet about it, unless he's screaming and falling to a star like pit. But Lego decided to go with a version of Boba from Episode 6. As we saw in the box, he was shooting at the star like pit, so it was pretty obvious that they were going to go with that, because uh, there's two different versions of Boba Fett, pretty much, with from Episode 5, Empire Strikes Back, and Episode 6, Return of the Jedi. Um, so I'm glad they stuck with this version. I like both of them a lot, but they're pretty different from one another now you, if you look at the comparisons, if you compare them by one another. Um, but I like this figure a lot. <laughs> I was really surprised of um, how much they're able to capture and how many recolors of pieces there is and everything else. So we'll go into the details very shortly here. But the possibility, so I get that out of the way real quick. He has 360 degrees in his, both of his hands. You can move his lower arms forward and back and tilt them side to side. You kind of get 360 degrees in the both of the arms entirely. Uh, kind of, it depends. But when you try to aim up, like, you know, if you want to bring Boa's antenna down from the helmet, that's also kind of a part of posability, but that's only for something else. But also kind of this armor piece will come off when you try to aim it. But what does that with this little rocket launcher, I guess you want to call it, other than having one in his backpack in the movies. So, uh, yeah. He has 306 degrees in his both of his feet. You move his legs forward and back and tilt them side to side. You kind of can move the legs. Actually, well, the cav armor right here kind of gets in the way of doing so. Um, but you can move it forward and back. You kind of really can't do it in 306 degrees. So, uh, yeah. Um, take a look at the detail. There are so many recolors. That's a recolor. That's a recolor. That's a recolor. Um, that's a recolor, I believe, for the chest piece, the calf piece, these pieces down here, and they have printing on them, two different printings. Uh, the hands and feet are not, but they get them in gray, which you've really only gotten in Baze Malbus is, uh, Baze Malbus, yeah, whatever his name is. That said, but no one else wants to buy that set unless it's really, really cheap. But it is amazing how many recolors. There's also some in the back here, and looking at the backpack or the jet, this thing is built much better than Django uh, had. It. It's more compact and better built, I would say, and it just it just looks more accurate, and the colors are really nice. I love the blue and the kind of, um, what's the word? The t like the different shade of yellow, orange kind of color, like Kitangu orange, I think it was called in Bionicle community. Uh, very cool, and you got some red on the top here. And also with the little feature here, we have an axle sticking out of the end here. You can see it kind of jumping up, and when you hit this, uh, Boa Fett's little rocket on this backpack flies out just like Django Fett did. But this is much better, I have to say. And also something cool you can do is that you can take this off. So it's optional if you want to keep it on or not. You see the pin and axle that stick out. And also I believe these are recolors unless they weren't used for maybe the Lego Ninjago movie for the green mech dragon. We got some um, small green armor shells in the back here too. Very cool. Um, I like how you can have Bobo out the cape, oh, I mean, not the cape, the jetpack on, which this build, like I said, is very cool. I really like this a lot. The cape, which you get two of these a lot, or, yeah, not two of these a lot. My apologies, I cannot speak. Once again, I'm very enthusiastic about this figure. Um, the cape, the torn cape, this is awesome. I love how you get two of them. Very cool. I kind of don't like how it's, you know, kind of the side here. I wish it kind of continue on, but I understand for 
the jetpack, so we'll put that back on for right now. There we go. So I like that a lot. It goes around his neck and then um, under his arm right there. So yeah. And for, um, we have the Mandalorian skull symbol here. I'll just zoom up on that. Very cool. Love seeing that. This is really nice printing. Mine wasn't screwed up. I mean, some people uh, probably had it screwed up like that before. Um, the torso, actually, I'll just, yeah, all the printings for the, um, I guess, like, lower legs and the kind of knee pieces, or the, yeah, basically lower leg pieces. Uh, two different printings, which I was really surprised about. I'm surprised they didn't go with, you know, the same, have it on, on the same side, but nope. You know, they had it with a Scarab Trooper just like this with the printing on the same piece, but... Yeah, this is also a recolor too. It's amazing how many recolors and everything like that's in this set with the kind of, um, I guess like a different kind of gray, you know, like, I don't know, it seems like more different kind of, not, more bright white, like a white and gray put together. That's what a lot of his color scheme is. But very cool. I like that a lot. Kind of, you can see kind of, um, he has that kind of baggage to his whole suit as a whole. You can see on the lines, everything else. So I really like that a lot. And for his, uh, chest piece printing really really cool I like how it's the color sometimes the colors with Lego when they're printing and also with the kind of um whole other color of the character too it's the same color with the kind of um not lime green like different shade of, yeah just like a less bright shade of green I don't know what the exact color is I apologize um but it's the same shade of green from the helmet and on here you still have the kind of battle marks or scrapes on his chest piece there and also that goes to the helmet and the helmet we'll get on to in a moment but I like how we have the Wookiee here there and then have some other symbol and just the details all over it's it's pretty much yelling out <laughs> out of this whole figure it's amazing also I mentioned this earlier with the little rocket launcher on the side here um, on the side of his calves He's also got little bags. It's like a three-piece build with a Exoforce hand system piece and also with this new kind of slow piece. There are like two of these, those small ones put together, but small together like that. I really like that a lot. Pretty cool. And uh, yeah, so actually I'll take a look at the gun. Oh, I just shot the missile out of it. Um, basically, you guys all know the deal with this. This is um, Boba Fett's carbine rifle. Really cool how they made this. I was surprised of how he holds it because he doesn't hold it on the bottom here. As you can see, there's nothing like an axle or anything else there, but he holds it on the side, which I thought was really interesting because he has the back end here. Um, so I understand why they keep that um, accurate and also on the little scope on the top here. On the other side, we see that we come with another one. Thankfully, I have it, so I don't think to go and fetch the other one. But if you shoot the bottom here, then this all will shoot it out. So you guys need to deal with that, but that's pretty cool. So if I want to put it on the side, there we go. That's how Boba holds it. Very cool. Now, last but not least, my favorite part of the whole figure is the helmet. This thing is amazing. I think other than Darth Vader's helmet, which was pretty, I guess, kind of easy to capture, but this, what they did with the detail and markings, and everything else with Boba's helmet, is amazing. The dent in the helmet is amazing. It just, everything about the helmet is, the head mold or helmet mold is just, I'm really happy that it's, I was worried that it was the same one as Django Fett's, which was more awkward and weird. This one just seems more, it didn't seem as realistic as this does. It seems like you actually can get it on an actual uh, Boba Fett action figure. And it's just, it's really cool. You have the antenna, like I said earlier, Put that down so he has the rocket launcher on his arm it probably has an actual name i just don't know of it right now but you have the markings right here and also the yellow lines on the side of his helmet overall this is amazing um the figure overall is amazing i really love this figure and he's pretty much perfect um i i think i can i think i said everything i need to say about uh looking at boba i'm sorry it took a while it's just there was so much to look at him um so yeah, that's pretty much it for Boba. Now I'll get on to the final thoughts and end off this review. All right, so that's pretty much it for this review. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give a thumbs up, give a thumbs down. It's your decision. Let me know what you guys think of this set in the comment section down below. Just to give a final note about this figure, this is my favorite one that LEGO had released to the Star Wars CBS lineup. It is an incredible figure. Like I said, I pretty much went over this whole entire review and I'm sorry it took a while to uh, look at the figure. It just there was so much to look at with the details, the re recolors, everything else. 
Hopefully it won't be like that. And the next review, which will be a three-in-one review, which I will be reviewing the Scarab Trooper, Stormtrooper Commander, and the Death Trooper. You guys are pretty much all the same, so I'm going to try to do a three-in-one. So hopefully you guys will like that. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Till then, I'll see you guys next time. Adios.